Continue from the previous lesson or open the file Chapter 3 AEC Construct 02.max. Currently, we have a very simple structure with four walls sitting on a concrete pad. The walls are created with AEC wall objects. These are a very special type of object that work directly with the doors and window objects that are available within 3ds Max. In this exercise, we're going to add a door to the front wall of the house. In the Command Panel, click on the Create tab. Make sure the Geometry option is selected. From the Geometry drop-down list, choose the Doors option. We're going to use a standard pivot door as the front door of our building. Click the Pivot option in the Object Type rollout. In the viewport, place your cursor towards the middle of the front of the building. And, since we're snapping to the grid, our door will be created on the slab. First, we need to click and drag to place the door and set the width. On the front of the slab, just off to the right-hand side of the center, click to locate the origin. Then drag the door to the left to set the width of the door and release the mouse button. Next, move the cursor back and to the left just slightly. Then left-click the mouse button. This will set the depth of the door. Drag up with the mouse, and you'll see the door start rising from the floor. This is setting the height of the door. Left-click to set the door height. Don't worry about setting a specific height, width, and depth for the door. We're going to fix that in the Modify panel. Now go ahead and switch over to the Modify panel by clicking on the Modify tab. In the Pivot Door Parameters rollout, change the height to a value of 7 feet, and then press Enter. Change the width value to a value of 3 feet, then press Enter. Then set the depth value to a value of 8 inches. This makes the door 2 inches deeper than the wall and will give us the molding that we want around the door. So enter a value of 8 inches and press Enter. Let's open the door a little bit so we can see what just happened in the walls. In the door parameters rollout, set the open value to a value of 45 degrees and press Enter. When we open the door, you'll notice that we can see right through the door. That's because the wall object understands the placement of the door object and cuts out the wall dynamically to accommodate the door. One problem you'll notice is that the door opens out. In order to correct this, check the Flip Swing checkbox. The door will now open to the inside of the building. If we look further in the parameters of the pivot door, you'll notice that there is an area to edit the door frame. You can create a door frame or not create a door frame based on this checkbox. And you can adjust the width, depth, and door offset. Scroll the panel so that we see the leaf parameters roll out. The leaf parameters allow you to edit the area around the glass panels in the door. For instance, Change the bottom rail value to a value of 4 inches, and then press Enter. And you can see the bottom leaf of the door is now 4 inches high instead of 1 foot. You can also specify what types of panels are used for the interior panels of the door. If you click on the None option, the door will be a flat door with no glass panels. Of course, the panels don't have to be glass. They can be any material you want. If you click on the Beveled option, the panels will have beveled edges based on the bevel parameters that you set in this section. Let's go ahead and change the number of panels so we have more than one. This will make the door look a little more traditional. In the Leaf Parameters rollout, set the number of panels horizontal to a value of 2 by clicking on the up arrow of the parameter spinner. Then set the number of vertical panels by setting the number panel's vertical value to 4, and then press Enter. 
To adjust the spacing between the panels, change the value of the Munton parameter to 1, and then press Enter. Now that we've completed installing our door, click on the Application button. From the Application menu, click Save As. In the Save File As dialog, click the Increment on Save button to save this file as a new file with an incremental file name. If you're asked to overwrite a file, go ahead and overwrite it. 